five, Nicole Eckle moved from New York, being a New York native, to Sydney. She was shopping in David Jones. I think she wanted a taste of home or something in a, in a fragrance candle and couldn't find what she was looking for. There was a gap in the market where we had the low-end candles and we had the very luxurious high-end candles, but there was nothing in the middle, nothing in the mid-range. So she filled a gap in the market. She, you know, began experimenting in her kitchen with layering fragrances. Didn't know the first thing about making candles, but she knew how to start a business. Uh, and then in 2006 launched what's called Sapphire Group, which owns Glasshouse Fragrances and also Circa Home, which is the sister company of Glasshouse Fragrances. Nicole says that if Glasshouse Fragrances is extroverted and chic and glamorous, then Circa Home is for the introverted, for the people who care about, you know, organic eating, the candles are made from soy wax, you know, um, that they're designed in partnership together to be for all consumers, for the extroverted consumers and the introverted consumers. In a $200 million fragrant candle industry, Sapphire Group owns 25% of that, controls 25% of that. I think Glasshouse Fragrances alone is a $50 million company. Um, it's grown exponentially with each year. These candles are hand poured. They're, you know, the wick is trimmed by hand. They're hand polished. They're Australian made and owned. It's, extraordinarily impressive. More impressiveness abound the fact that Glasshouse have partnerships with David Jones, they have partnerships with Peter Alexander. There are stockists, random stockists all around Australia and then various opportunities like um, a, a partnership with The Block where you know two contestants from The Block created or inspired a candle but certainly the the loudness of Glasshouse appeals to me greatly and the design of Glasshouse appeals to me greatly. It's, this is the size, it's, there's a statement about it and I think that's what makes them so easy to collect is that they are all each by themselves statements, even in their original collection. But what I want to get to in this, in this film, in this video is my collection. I only collect limited editions. Um, I buy the other ones, but I burn those ones. I collect limited editions. I don't know how many limited editions Glasshouse Fragrances have released since their inception. I own 12. If you Google Glasshouse Fragrances limited edition, you can find a page on the Glasshouse Fragrances website called the, the Vault, which features some of their limited editions, but not all. Glasshouse Fragrances website, they say that if you store your candle in a cool, dark, dry environment, the fragrance can last up to two years. Unlike perhaps, you know, rocks and gems or stamps or coins especially, perhaps the candles do depreciate in value um, because the fragrance just goes out of them, I guess. I'm not really sure how it happens. I imagine sort of the soul leaving the body ever so slowly, but um, my Coney Island 2012 limited edition, it still smells like Coney Island, it smells like the classic Coney Island scent, but it is fainter than if I go to the shop and smell Coney Island, so, but that's a seven year old candle, and it's been with me through several interstate moves, many hot cars. I will say, certainly, that my excitement for post to arrive is uh, exceedingly embarrassing. The level of excitement we have when Possibly there is a candle in the post box. Normally I would run there, but I've hurt my knee, so. You know, there are some things, there are some more uh, tangible things I could be excited about in life, or, you know, perhaps even some career goals, or, you know, something where I'm moving forward. But but no, no, it's, uh, it's Glasshouse Fragrances, and let me tell you, if I don't get the package when I'm expecting the package, it's, it's not good. No! I collect candles. You know, because whilst they're intended, I'm sure, as an experience, you know, and 
glass house fragrances, all their marketing is about how much of an experience smell is. Um, I'm not burning them, but they are still an experience for me, for me to see them in a collection, you know, on my bookshelf, or for me to go up and, you know, smell one and have the memory of when I bought that candle or what it reminds me of. It's still just as much of an experience with or without me burning them. And um, because of their limited edition nature, I've just chosen to, you know, display them in a way that makes me really happy. They're beautiful, colourful things. The designs are just impeccable. I love looking at them. So we've got the aesthetic pleasure, but also the fact that I can walk up to the bookshelf and say, yeah, what does Night Before Christmas smell like? And the problem is, is that um, the older limited editions can go for quite a lot on eBay. They are listed sometimes for exorbitant prices. My Crony Island, I think I saw for $225 or over $200. Um, that's a seven-year-old candle, you know, so I guess if you are interested in buying older candles, just be, just have it in the back of your mind, certainly, that it might not be the most freshest, you know, out of the factory scent that it, it, it could be. Thanks for being with me during this Glasshouse Fragrances exploration of my collection, and I will be sure to update you, you know, with my next five, perhaps, and as I go through my money in order to, you know, complete my collection. <laughs> Fairly well bank balance. But, uh, Hats off to Glasshouse Fragrances, to Sapphire Group, to Nicole Eggle. My final thoughts are that if you're candle collecting, good on you. And if you collect stamps, good on you. And if you don't have any collections, good on you. You know, to each our own, whatever makes us happy. Um, my mum burns all of her Glasshouse candles. She's had so many limited editions over the years uh, that I keep finding the old, you know, the, the shell of what the candle was. I, I find the the glass around and I think, my god, this was a this was White Christmas from 2016 or something. That would have looked great in my collection. Thanks, Mum, you know. But that's fantastic because that's how the candles are intended, you know, I'm sure that that if that's how you get the maximum maximum experience from the candle, then you bloody well should burn that thing, you know. So, Glasshouse Fragrances, if you're watching this, when do you sponsor me and how do I become you know, uh, how do I work for you? And uh, yeah, see you in Sydney when I start working for you. Okay, bye.